I love my leather jacket. It is not real leather, it is artificial leather or fox leather, vegan leather, V leather, PU leather, whatever. I love this jacket. Yes, and I love my jacket too. I got lots of compliments on it. And it's not real leather, it's fox leather. Polyester to be exact. 100% polyester. Yes. And it is made out of skin of mushroom caps, what is really cool, I think. Yes, it's there's lots of different ways to make leather. You can make leather with pineapples, you can make it with kombucha. Um, they're looking into making biodegradable leather. It's pretty interesting. It is. The, the, the science behind it. <laughs> and it breathes with me, it doesn't make me all sweaty, but it keeps me warm. And that's, I think, the purpose of the jacket, to keep you warm. Yeah. And not just fashion, of course. So it, it really makes me feel good. It doesn't smell like animals, definitely not. I don't have the smell of real leather. Yeah. But I never cared about the smell of real It's leather. really easy to clean, too. If you spill on your jacket, you can just wipe it off. But with real leather, I think you have to bring it to the dry cleaners or, you know. It's you have to condition long, it. Yeah, it's a whole long process to get whatever you spilled on it out which isn't fun. When I go to the ice palace and watch my daughter ice skating twice a week, I am warm. I'm just so warm in my jackets. I love it. Yes, very warm jackets, definitely. It makes me feel happy. I haven't caused any harm to any animal. And I think that is like completely, I think that's to me that's very cool. People yeah. who come up with ideas how to make like fake lesser and how to make it more like non breakable are yeah. really cool. They really help our society to become more friendlier to animals and... Yeah, there's no need to... Not to kill animals. There's no need to kill animals for leather That's anymore. Right. When we have all this, all these other things we can use to make it, which actually lasts longer, you know, makes the material last longer, doesn't let it fade away, you know. Um, yeah, there's different cuts you can make with fake leather, which you can't do with real leather and stuff it's like true. that. You can so. put different colors on it. Easier. Yeah, it's much easier. And, and it looks it looks nice. It looks cool. Mm -hmm. And we enjoy our artificial fox leather yes. shoes and jackets. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about real leather. Real leather, leather definitely age is better it's more you know, expensive it's like, which we don't like expensive. i don't want to spend a lot of money we, on leather we like that uh, our fake leather is more inexpensive like for example this jacket was 45 dollars mm -hmm. very inexpensive and yeah maybe it just holds for one or two years and then you have to buy another jacket, but I don't really mind. Well, I've had this one for before I turned vegan. I got this one, and it's still in perfect condition. Um, there's nothing to complain about it. If I had to rate it, I would give it five stars. It's great. Even before we became vegan, we didn't like real leather because it, it was heavy and it made us sweat, and it just was so uncomfortable, at least to us. Yeah, I got rid of my coach bags because they have leather and I don't even use the coach bags anymore. It's kind of like, doesn't mean anything to me, material stuff. Let's just talk about the real leather because the real leather actually reminds me of old farts who don't care, have a care in the world and don't think twice where they get clothes from or, you know, shoes. They like the smell of the real thing, and yeah, um, maybe it makes them feel happier and more successful. And they can say to people, "Oh, I made it in this world," and you have to work a little harder to make it. But the truth is, it doesn't make you happy. So, the real leather, and yes, I wore real leather before. It never made me feel happier, more successful, more beautiful, more important. It never did. It didn't do anything to my feelings. I like this bag, I think it's cool. That's a bag I bought after I became vegan, before I wore designer bags. Yeah, I don't want to wear these designer bags anymore. It's just not what I it's silly. want to do. I don't feel good. It, it reminds me of just it reminds me of the cruel cruelty 
what we do to animals, we must produce them, we kill them and then eat unhealthy meat and use their skin for bags and shoes and it's not right upholstery and we don't believe in this anymore of course at the same time if you have bought something and you really love it you have bought it yeah so don't throw it away there's no use for yeah. that either there's no just avoid it in the future it just look at labels sense. when you go out to buy things if That's you think right. something might be a, an animal you know skin just look at the label and make sure it's not and if it's if it is animal skin, I'm sure you can find the exact same thing somewhere else that's um, fake animal skin, so. It definitely takes me longer now going to stores because I look at labels. I make sure that there is no animal skin in it, especially with shoes. You have to be very careful because some of these shoes look like they're made out of other products, but actually there are parts, parts of them are skins of animals and uh, you have to be very careful if you care about not wearing any animal products. Yes. I just hope for the future that we have more of those amazing people, um, scientists, um, inventors who come up with amazing artificial products uh, that are maybe having a better quality, so like the lesser doesn't break as easily, the quality is better and I just hope that all the designers out there stop using animal skin for all their cool products and start using fake leather, fox leather, vegan leather and make better shoes and better purses we love our leather jackets. We definitely do. <laughs> we, we love, love our, our cruelty-free cruelty leather, leather jackets. jackets.